I just want to have you say something about the areas that are mentioned mm-hmm. in the in, in the subtitle. The first one kind of surprised me: feminism. Yeah. It surprised feminism in the Middle Ages. It surprised a number of people. In fact, uh, one of the larger uh, chains said that uh, I had to remove the word feminism from the (laughs) jacket because uh, if I didn't, they wouldn't uh, take very many copies. And uh, their reason was that uh, if you put the word feminism on a book, no man will buy the book. Oh, my goodness. Um, And uh, since I have a relatively large... Male, male readership, um, relatively large compared to some other authors, though it's still more women buy books than men. There's no, there are no two ways about it. Anyway, I refused because that was the word. There was no other word. There was nothing that could be done about it. So, so talk about some of these people. I mean, yeah. you're talking about Eleanor of Aquitaine and Hildegard of Bingen, and the, mm. well, they were they are they it's, are feminists. What there's, they are? There's no way around it. And feminism really means uh, the pr- prominence given to women, rather yeah. than, uh, essentially or originally. Okay, and that's what happened in in their cases in the 12th century. You have. Um, this rise in the cult of the Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary is suddenly everywhere. All these churches are dedicated to her, and her image is seen everywhere. A mother and child, really. Very simple, ordinary image. Um, And the the Father God is kind of pushed out of the way. Um, You suddenly have Mary at the center. Uh, I think that's the beginning of what happens. And then it's quickly transferred to the lives of women uh, and you and you have the suddenly the possibility of a woman like Hildegard um, being not just an abbess mm-hmm. but a major figure in her time uh, the same it's with, that it's that transfer that I guess is the most astounding part of the story I yeah. mean you know I'm used to, you know, all the piety around Mary and all the churches and so forth. But it, it, it's that it's that movement from from that kind of, of, of piety, if you will, uh, to action in, if you will, the marketplace. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Very fascinating. Yeah. And it, it, it and of course, it's part and parcel of what's happening in art, where art is becoming more realistic and less formalistic. Um, and the pictures of Mary are no longer these iconic, distant, reserved figures um, who are above us and beyond us, which is how the saints were always depicted Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Greek icons. Mm -hmm. Uh, You have this new Italian innovation uh, in which they're really trying to bring these people down to earth and show them not as icons in the sky, but as ordinary people from next door. 